Hey, hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing well out there today. And it feels like for me, it's been quite a while since I last recorded a YouTube video. And uh, the reason for that is because I've been getting over a slight cold or maybe a slight fever. Not exactly sure what it is yet, but you can probably hear from my voice that is a little bit tired. But I think today I finally have enough energy to finish a full recording session. And I hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. But anyhow, in today's lesson, we are going to try to discuss uh, one of these newer functions that was introduced inside of the Swift 4 programming language, and it's called the grouping function. And the way I'm going to illustrate today's example is to kind of go over the application that we are kind of working on for the last couple of videos here. And so let's take a look at the iPhone 10 simulator on the top right corner. And basically what we have is a UI table view and we are presenting a couple of different sections of messages inside of this list here. And so if you missed the first lesson, you can check it out using a link in the description below. But this is what we have so far. And currently we have a lot of different sections. And what is actually powering this UI table view, right? Well, if you look at the view controller Swift file, this is our current source code. And then down here, we have this chat messages array and inside of it contains all of our chat messages here, here, and here. And I guess one thing that's a little bit special about this chat messages array is that it's actually a two dimensional array. And that's kind of how we are able to present things inside of this nicely grouped structure inside of our table view. Now, uh, one thing that you will typically run into if you're uh, retrieving data from something like a server is that the server isn't always going to return your data inside of this nicely formatted structure of groups of messages, right? Instead, what it will actually try to return to you, uh, most likely it'll just give you a flat array. So I'm going to kind of show you what I mean by declaring a new array. and. I'll call this guy messages from server. Hopefully that makes sense. And this array is going to be a flat array of all these messages over here. So what I mean is you'll just get something that looks like this from the server instead. So nothing too structured out. Uh, so let me just copy this down here as well. And uh, I'll grab this last one and put it down here too. So there we go. You can build your project, you can run it again. Everything's going to look the same because we haven't modified the actual logic in our application. And so that's kind of what we have. And what I would like to do now is I kind of want to comment out this chat messages array. And you can't really run your code because your, uh, your UI table view is missing this chat messages, right? So let's fix that first and then move on to actually figuring out how to group our messages together. So what I mean is I want to declare this chat messages array. So chat messages and I'll declare an empty array of chat messages. And then the way you would want to do that is to just use this syntax over here. And that'll give you a two dimensional uh, empty array of chat messages like so. And once you have this empty array, your table view isn't going to present anything because this whole array over here is empty, obviously, right? So hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you guys are able to follow along. And uh, I guess what we really want to do now is uh, kind of answer the question as to how we want to group all the messages inside of here so that we can kind of have our previous section of messages kind of like this, right? So we have the August 3rd messages here, the September 15th messages here, here, and here. And then we have this uh, October 31st message down there. And you kind of have to figure out how you want to group these messages together. And it turns out it's actually pretty easy if you utilize this newer function inside of Swift 4 called grouping. And so let me show you how to do that inside of view did load. And uh, I guess instead of typing out a bunch of code in here, you can attempt to, let's see, attempt to assemble uh, grouped messages. And I will create this as a function. Let's see, somewhere up here, makes sense to me. Uh, file private function, and here is our code. And we are going to attempt 
to group our messages. Yeah, let's type that out correctly. Together based on date property. Okay, so let's try to run this and hopefully I'll get this inside of my console. Uh, I always like to run my code just to confirm that everything is working properly. And what I mean by the date property is that all these chat messages right here, it contains this date property. And so chat message, our struct is here. We have text, is incoming, and date, right? So we're going to try to group all of our messages based on the date property. And so how exactly do we do that, right? Well, this is really, really simple if we kind of utilize this dictionary. And this dictionary comes with this constructor called a grouping. And it wants you to pass in some kind of sequence. And so the sequence we'll use is this guy up here. And let's see, the right side, we have the actual grouping function that we need to implement. And the way we are going to do this is to hit enter right here. And I'm going to have to type out some of the code here. It's a little bit confusing if you've never seen it before, but this is actually the grouping function. Uh, this guy that we are, have highlighted, we just want to say element like that. And this requires you to return some kind of type. And because we want to group based on this date property, we're going to use the date type like that. And so line 57, what exactly goes inside of here? Well, it's pretty simple. If we access the element, which is this guy, then we can say elements, and we'll just return the actual date property. Okay, and that's all we need. Let's pop all of this guy inside of a property or a variable called grouped messages. And you can try to print out what exactly is inside of group messages right now. Uh, you'll see that is actually a dictionary where the key is type date and then the value is actually array of chat messages. Okay, so we can try to run our code now and hopefully the console will give us something useful. We'll see exactly what it does. Uh, it's not exactly that easy to read. So instead of looking at all of this, why don't we actually look at the keys first? So what I mean is grouped messages right here is a dictionary and it has keys. It also has values that you can actually list out. You can simply print out the keys by using a for each loop right there. This is the key, print out the key. Let me comment out that. And you have to kind of think about what exactly the key values are when you perform this grouping function, right? Well, you can kind of see we have four print statements down here. And uh, a couple of the print statements is 915, 1031, and 803. And so you'll have 1031 here, you have your September 15th, and then you have 803, August 3rd. We have another data right here, which actually comes from one of these messages over here. So today I'm recording the video on 9-11-ish and the current date, which is specified by that, is currently 9-11. That's kind of why we have these four keys down here. And so that's all you need to actually get your messages to be grouped together. And uh, the only thing that you want to actually access is maybe the values as well. So let's say let values and we'll say group messages and we'll use the key, close that off and print out values. I think that's all I need. I might need to coerce this into an empty string like that <clears throat> because this thing might not always give you something that is a non-optional value. And what you'll get is that for each one of these keys right here, so this is the key, you'll get all of your messages inside of an array. So for the date of August 3rd, which is that, you'll get the first message over here, and then you'll get the second message right over there. And that's kind of what you see inside of this app over here. So this is the first message, and this is the second message. And you know, by just using this grouping function over here, you can provide the actual grouping structure that you need for your table view. And I guess the one thing that you're actually missing now is to somehow provide your table view with the messages, kind of like what we had before, right? So these are the messages. Okay, so to get your messages back inside of your table view, all you have to do is to reset up your chat messages array down here with the actual group messages up above. And so what I mean is you can say a chat messages 
And you can simply say chat messages.values, which will hopefully give you something useful back. But uh, you can't exactly do this. And what I'll do instead is I'll append all of these values inside of the chat messages inside of this for each loop. And so what I mean is I just want to say chat messages and I'll append some kind of element. And the thing that's kind of unique about this grouping is that this values over here turns out to be an array of the messages that you need. And then one thing that you have to fix is this and the default value if there's nothing in there is just a blank array like so. And uh, what you can do now is you can run your code again <laughs> And the grouping function will actually group all of your messages together. So everything that appears on September 15th is inside of this section there, August 3rd. And then we have, let's see, the third section and also the last section below. And one thing that you'll kind of see right off the bat here that is incorrect is that all of the dates are, they're not really ordered in any way. And that's kind of what this grouping function really does. It doesn't really care about the ordering. So that's the last step that we have to figure out inside of this algorithm here. And so to provide the correct ordering for your messages, all you gotta do is to kind of sort your keys in some kind of ascending or descending order. And so the keys is over here. And you can actually provide a sorting for your keys somehow. And this is pretty simple. If you just say let sort it keys equals group messages, access the keys, and you can simply say sort it like that, and it'll kind of sort it all for you. And then for the sorted keys, we're going to use a for each loop on it. So sorted keys for each, and this is your key. And I'm going to apply the same bit of logic over here. So let me just say let the values equals group messages. And we'll use the key from the sorted keys. Let me get rid of that bracket. And let me just paste that in here. I will have to comment out this bit of code. And so this is a little bit of code, but once you have this logic implemented, you'll see that the sorting that you actually provide for your messages actually correctly groups them together. And you'll see that August 3rd is up here, September 10th and then so on and so forth. So that just means that the time is sorted for you. Alrighty everyone, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. And some of you guys can already spot that there's a small flaw inside of our program currently. And that problem is what exactly happens when all of your messages are actually differing by hour, minutes, and also seconds inside of your chat messages array. The current strategy that we're using to group all this together isn't exactly going to work in that use case. So I'm going to provide that solution inside of the downloads using the links in the description below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to learn more about Swift development, you can check out the couple of courses down in the description below as well. Again, hopefully you learned something new in today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. That's gonna be it for me today. I will see you in the very next lesson. Bye bye guys.